I really, really missed you. Okay. okay. I have to say that I was nervous to see my mom today. I was really, really nervous. I didn't sleep because she had been thinking that today may never come, that no one would ever be able to visit again, and that's where she would end up. And it's been very, very difficult, and it's understandable because, gratefully, she did not get the virus, but she had other medical challenges. and because of the isolation, she has been stuck in her room for over two months, and so anybody would think that this is it. Have you been around or live with or anyone under the suspect of being watched with COVID-19? No. All right. Just with the big guy. I take you down. And I love you so much, and the day finally came. Yeah. The day is here, right? I get to visit you. I I totally understand and agree with Governor Baker's and everybody's um, policies on this because it's to keep people safe. But um, the emotional and mental toll on people has been extremely difficult. I know she was very, she was very tired this morning, but when they told her she was coming to see you, she absolutely wanted to come out here and yeah. do that. Right around the time the virus started showing up, uh, she had major health issues that have continued. So her ability to just uh, process information and understand what's happening to her and what's going on around her was significantly compromised. And that just made the whole quarantine situation exponentially more difficult for her. Okay. I'm gonna put your mask back on, okay? They have to leave. We have to go. But we'll be back, Ma, to see you in real life again, okay?